Welcome to the NGIT website and math podcast. My name is Vanessa and today I'll be covering simplifying radicals using rational exponents. Now it's pretty easy to evaluate either on paper or in your head square roots or sometimes even cubic roots if you have them memorized. But when, it, but when you start getting into higher roots and higher exponents, it becomes a little bit more difficult, and especially when you're combining the two, when, they, when, the, when a real number is raised to an exponent but also given some type of root, it can be tricky to, 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 to simplify. So by using ra- what's called rational exponents, it makes it a little bit easier to, if, if not get an exact answer, but at least to simplify the expression to something more manageable. So first let me go over a very simple example of what I'm talking about. So say you had x squared, but you want to take the eighth root. Now we don't know the eighth root, and it's an x, and it's an x squared, so it's not like you can get a final answer for it, but we need to try to simplify this in some way. So what we do is, is we turn this this exponent with the radical into a rational exponent. The way you want to do it is is you're going to turn this into a fraction. The rule of thumb is the root becomes the numerator and the whatever the whatever the uh, root is becomes the denominator. So the, f- the exponent becomes the numerator, the root becomes the denominator. So you're going to take whatever your base is, in this case it's x, okay, and then it's the, the, uh, r- the exponent is the numerator, and the, den- the root is the denominator, so it becomes 2 over 8. So it's x raised to the 2 over 8, which simplifies to x to the 1 fourth. And then the last step you can possibly do is, is then, then to turn the rational exponent back into a radical, just for cleanliness. So then, again, the, ec- the uh, numerator is the exponent, the denominator is, is, plays the root. So in this case, our exponent is x to the first, which you don't have to write the 1 in. A 1 is always assumed. And then the radical is 4. So it's the fourth root. And then this would be the simplified version of the x squared eighth to the eighth root. So now we can do it using some real numbers, and I'm going to take it a little step further by incorporating multiplication into this. So say I had radical 9, fourth root times radical 3. Okay, so normally this would be pretty easy, but except we have the fourth root to deal with, uh, with that plays into the 9. So what you want to do is first turn both pieces into um, bases with rational exponents. So let's do the first one. They're both raised to the first because we have an exponent of 1 here, an assumed 1. Okay, so for the first one, it would be 9 raised to the 1 over, and then the, it's radical 4, so it's 1 over 4. Okay, the other one would be 3 to the first power, and then it's, if there's no number in the, ra- in the uh, radical for the root, then you automatically assume square root, so it's 1 over 2. Okay, and then don't forget you are multiplying these two. Okay. Now from here, you know, there's no 9 to the 1 quarter, that's going to be an exact number, and there's no square root of 3, that to be an exact number. So how do we multiply these two together? Well, the only way you'll be able to, you know, combine them is if they have the same base. Okay? And then, so we know that 9 can actually be broken up into 3 times 3, right? So we can break that up. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3 squared. It's 3 squared, and then this is still raised to the 1 over 4, and then times 3 to the 1 half. 
So now with the first term, before we can um, multiply the whole thing, we need to make sure that this is all that the, that the three is only raised to one exponent, because now we have an exponent raised to another exponent, which is not completely simplified enough. So when you have an exponent raised to an exponent, you multiply them. So we have two times the quarter. So that's going to give us two over four. Okay, times three, still to the one half. And I'm going to simplify this one more time. The two over four is still three to the one half times three to the one half. Okay, and then when you're multiplying uh, bases with exponents, if they have the same base, then all you need to do is repeat the base and then add add the, um, the the rational exponents across. So it would just be simply one half plus one half, which is three to the first. So our answer is just simply three. Okay. And now I'm going to do one more example where we take it even a step further and we're going to do a variable but then we're going to put a radical within a radical as well as having an exponent. So here's our example. Say we had this. We had x to the eighth underneath a cubed root and then that's going to be covered with a square root. Okay, so usually when you have this kind of a thing you want to work from the inside out because yeah, obviously you have various layers going on here. So we're going to start with the innermost layer. Okay, we're going to work with just this portion here. Okay, we're going to turn that into a rational exponent first. So let me just repeat square root and then this is going to turn into x, exponent 8, so it's going to be 8 over the root, which is 3, so over 8 thirds. Okay, so now we're going to repeat that step now that we have one, one, one more radical, and we're going to turn that into a rational exponent again. So we're going to repeat what we have inside the radical. This is going to be x to the 8 over 3, and then turn this into a a rational exponent. Obviously the 8 thirds is not being raised to another exponent so it's just 1 and then it's being it's the square root so it'll be just 1 over 2. So now we have an exponent raised to an exponent so we multiply the exponents together so it would be 8 over 3 times 1 over 2 which is just 8 over 6. So this is x to the 8 over 6. Okay, and then the 8 over 6 can simplify to x to the 4 over 3. And then just for a final answer, you want to try your best to bring, bring this back into radical form. So let's do that. So again, the denominator is your root. So we know this is going to be a cube root. Okay. Our base is x. And it's raised to the fourth. Now we have the cube root of x to the fourth. So we can probably simplify this even further because if this, we can break this up into, now if it's a cube root, that means that x to the cubes com is, is considered a perfect cube. So, and then the x to the fourth breaks up into x cubed times x, right? So then, so now this term here is a perfect cube, so we can actually pull this out of the radical. The cubed root of x cubed is just x. So, this comes out and then what's left inside is a radical x. So here's our final answer. It's x times the cube root of x. So thank you for visiting the NGIT website. 
If you need any further assistance, please feel free to stop by the CAPE, or the Center for Academic and Professional Enrichment, located in Kupfrin Hall, Room 200. Good luck in your studies.